Hey everybody, welcome to another episode here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's workout is called Cardio Fusion Flow. And we're just gonna utilize two items you probably have on hand at home, which are folded washcloths. Now, if you're on a hard surface like me, the folded washcloth will be fine. If not, if you're on carpet, try two paper plates in its place. Or if you happen to own a pair of gliding disc or sliders, those will of course work in its place. This should be very interesting. We'll see how long Peanut lets me <laughs> use these without coming to take them away from me. So we're gonna start with those washcloths just folded neatly and we're gonna place them under our feet. We're just gonna start warming up nice and gentle. So this just allows us just a little traction on the floor. But if you don't have any of these items on hand or your surface just doesn't work with it, you can also do this workout by just simply tapping the toes out and in when we do all those sliding motions, okay? Good, give me one more nice deep breath in, stretch the arms up. Now just bend your knees, bring your hands on top of your thighs, round your spine, tuck the tailbone and arch and round and arch. Now I want you to really start to engage those core muscles here. So we're gonna scoop the abs into the back. Two more, and round, and arch. Last one, and round, and arch. Roll it all the way up for me. Stack the spine, shoulders come down. We're gonna slide the right foot out and in. Now the left. So my standing knee bends a little bit. Just gonna start getting used to that sliding motion. So one thing you wanna make sure you're doing is always keeping a little pressure down into the washcloth, the paper plate, or the disc. Now, you know that these moves are live, so I may lose grip on my cloth at some point, just like you might at home. So don't worry about being perfect. If it slides away from you, go get it and bring it back. Let's use the arms. We're gonna sweep away from that leg, good. So I'm lifting my heel here, pressing down with the ball of my foot, so it's easy to slide out and in, that's it. Push the hips back, kind of like you're doing a little squat on that standing leg. Good, give me two more here. Now we're gonna take that right leg out and hold it, slide it in, slide it out. So we're gonna start to wake up through the inner thighs, keep the arms going. Good, let's take that a little faster. Take it out, take it in. So it's kind of like doing a little skate with just that right leg. Out, squeeze, out, squeeze. So we're gonna start to feel the inner thighs. Press down through the foot. Keep control of whatever tool you're using or you're just tapping the foot. We got four, three, two. We're gonna stay low and shift the weight. Sweep out, pull in, good. Sweep out, pull in. Remember if you have to readjust your foot at any time, you can. Give me one more slow, reach nice and quick. Take it out, take it in. So we should be starting to feel the body getting a little warmer. Good, getting the blood pumping, the blood flowing. Stay low, sit back in your hips. We wanna keep that standing knee behind the toes at all times. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, hands on the thighs. Roll up through that spine. Let's just slide the foot to the back. Again, you're gonna take a little bend in that standing leg, and it's going back behind you. Good, let's add the arms, reach down. Good. Bend and extend, now keep your chest lifted for me as that leg slides back. Arms just kind of float up and down, nice and graceful. Good, remember we're just still warming things up. Give me four more. Three, two, last set. Beautiful, hold it here, step the feet wide. Just give me a stretch, out and over. Come up, other side, nice and slow. Out and over, and up. Let's go a little bit faster. Take it side and center, side and center. That's it, stretch, contract. So we're focusing on the abdominals while we keep the heart rate in a gentle cardio mode today. Good, let's do four more here. Stretch, contract, three, last two, you got it. Good, one more. 
Now shift your weight into your left leg, bending that knee, extending that right leg out nice and straight. We're gonna sweep the leg behind us to the back corner and then to the side of the hip. Back corner to the side. Push down through your foot. Abs are tight here, chest is lifted. Good, now we're gonna start to use your waist muscles a little more by adding the arms, we're gonna push down and side. So what this does is I'm moving at the waistline. So my arms are really staying like this, but I'm pushing down through my side oblique muscles. Can you feel it? Take it down, press, down, and press. Good, now you can do this tapping your toes if you don't have a sliding tool. You'll still feel it. Down and back. Feeling that standing leg too, yeah? Give me four more. Three, good. Last two, uh-oh, here she comes, I knew it was coming. One more, great job. Now let's take the feet wide apart, knees and toes turned out. Just give me a plie, down and up. Opening the toes, peanut, that's my washcloth, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have an extra challenge keeping them in place today. So push down through the feet. Don't let, don't let peanut steal your tools. Good, let's take the arms, down and up. Take it down, take it up. So we wanna keep the heart rate up without having to do a lot of impact. So we're still working through the joints, of course, with the plies and the lunges, but we don't have to put any impact on them, which is always nice for cardio. Good, and there's no burpees in this workout. Good, excellent. A couple more, and four, and three, and two. We're gonna shift our weight over to that right leg, extending the left, take it back, and sigh to the corner and sigh. Abs tight, shoulders down, and across and out. Good, so you're gonna use your inner thighs to move that leg around. Let's add the core even more. Push down and sigh, down and sigh, good. So if you're on a hard surface, you're using cloths, it's a great way to polish your floor, right? Spray a little, uh, cleaner on the bottom of them. No, I don't recommend that. It could get a little slippery. Let's do four more here. It's a four. And press. Three. Press two more. Last one. Good. Take it back to that grand plie. Turn it out. And pulse. Good. So check your knees. Make sure they're going right over but not past your toes. Peanut's going to keep trying to steal my wash. <laughs> Arms all the way down, all the way up. Down. Up. So I'm starting to sweat, how about you? Yeah, starting to feel this a little? Good, so we want a nice flowing energy. This should feel good, but you might be surprised at some of these moves. They're gonna get a little challenging, but nothing too crazy hard, okay? Just stay with me for whatever you can do. Take breaks when you need to, and I'll show you some modifications when we get to the time that we're gonna start to use the floor, okay? All levels today, four, Three, two, and one. Good, now hold that plie. Slide your right foot in, hold it, and pulse, pulse, good. So our heels are touching, hopefully. Toes are turned out. And we're gonna squeeze the inner thighs, extend the legs, and I want you to take the left foot, take it front to back. I'm bending my standing knee here. Abs are tight, push down on the floor. Now, we're gonna turn into the leg as it comes front, away from the leg as it goes back. So there's a little twist. Your arms just kind of swing, swing. So it's got a nice dance feel to it. But again, we're working your abs here. Away from the leg, to the leg. Away from the leg, to the leg. So it goes front and back. Use the inner thighs. Excuse me, peanut. I knew this was gonna happen. And press and squeeze, good. This is what it's really like working out at home, right guys? We have pets, we have children. We just do the best that we can. We stay focused. She helps test our mental focus, right? Squeeze, good. Two more. Last time back to front. Bring it back to that first position. Heels come together, plie pulse. Now, if you need to, readjust your feet or remove your pet from your foot. Good, excuse me. Squeeze and lift. Take it front, take it back, good. And front and back. 
Whenever you want, you can start to add that twist here. Good. Into the leg, away from the leg. Remember to keep that front knee bent. So the one you're standing on is bent. And front and back, oh, peanut. You're really gonna test my patience today. Here it goes, front and back. So this is what it looks like without a sliding tool. You're tapping the floor. Maybe you're lifting your leg over the puppy. Front and back and front and back. Give me four more and three. Good, and two. Give me one more here. Take it back to your first position, plie pulse, and squeeze, very good. How you feel? Yeah, are you good? All right, we're gonna start to put our hands on the floor. So for those of you that might need to modify this floor work, here's what I want you to do. Go over to your couch or a sturdy chair, and when we put our hands on the floor, you're gonna put your hands on the seat of that chair and do the lower body with us, okay? Abs in tight, that incline helps you a little bit, a little bit less pressure on the wrists. So let's turn, I'm just gonna to turn to the side here. Turn the feet parallel, which means your knees and toes face front, and I want you to sit back in your hips. So we're gonna kind of go into a little modified chair pose here. Nice long line from your tailbone through the crown of your head. Just sit back into it for now, good. Now we're gonna reach the arms out by the sides of our ears, palms face the floor, and I want you to just start to swim right and left, right and left. So let your chin drop to your chest. You don't need to look at me after you get this initial move. Circle back to front. Literally feel like you're swimming through water right now with that upper body, opening through the side. Now if you can, you can make it a little bigger by turning the torso and looking underneath that arm as you take that swim. Eight. Seven, good, keep sitting back in your hips. Six, five, four, three, good. Give me two more. Last set, beautiful, now just hold it. Sit back into chair, turn your palms in. Reach your arms as high up by your ears as you can. Think about wrapping your shoulder blades back in together. Just hold it, hold four, three, two, and one. Sweep your hands to the floor. Extend your legs as straight as you can. So my chair, folks, modify. Hands on the couch or a chair here. We're gonna bend our knees until we can get our hands flat on the ground, okay? So keeping the feet hip width apart, keep pressing down into those discs or tools you're using. Abs in tight, we're gonna slide the feet back to plank position. Slide the feet back. Abs and tight feet come together. Just hold it here for a second. Good, make sure you're not sagging through your hips. Lift those abs up. Now, I want you to bend your front knee towards the outside of your elbow. We're gonna pike the hips up, bring the feet back together, looks like this. Back foot comes to that back elbow. Down, yeah? A Little bit quicker, come up and down. Up and down. Lift up, slide down, good. A lot of ab work, nice control, squeeze and press. Use your inner thighs and up and down and up and down. Good. Two more. Last one. Take it back to your solid plank. Hold. Bend your knees, slide your feet back in hip width apart. Shift your weight into those legs. Come back to that chair hold. Arms up, wrap your shoulder blades back in together. Chin to the chest. Let's go swimming, nice and big, front arm first. Under and back. Good, how you feeling? Told you it was gonna get a little sneaky hard on you. Good, stay with me as long as you can. If your legs need a break, you could do just the upper body with this. Take the squat out if you need to. Remember, this is supposed to be cardio, so I hope that your heart rate is up. You're breathing as heavy as I am right now. So we're a little out of breath, but nothing like that max intensity we do with our HIIT workouts. We're in the fat burning zone right now. Four, 
three, beautiful. Two, good, last set, front back. Hold it, chair pose again. Arms up, squeeze and squeeze. Sweep the hands, extend the legs. Take a breath, hands on your chair if you need to modify. Adjust your gliders if you need it. So, from here, we're gonna slide the legs out, holding that plank position, abs in. Turn your hips towards me. We're gonna do a little sliding side climber. So I'm gonna aim to my front elbow, change the knees. One, two, one, two. Keep your shoulders over your hands. Glide it strong. You should feel those obliques. Good, keep going. Yep. Four, three, two. Take it back and hold it. Squeeze. Turn away from me with the hips. Back knee and go. And go. So just that little twist gets a lot of abs going, right? Shoulders over your hands. Good. Keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it back. Bend the knees in. Hands on the thighs. Tuck your tailbone and breathe. And arch. Breathe and recover. We spike that heart rate a little, yeah? Two more. Last time. Roll it all the way up. Gorgeous. Turn back towards me. And let's take it side to side. So now we wipe the sweat off the floor, right? Take it out, in, out and in. Slide it out and reach. Reach, good, let's add the arms. We're gonna sweep the arm out and across. Out and across. Good. Peanut, you're gonna test my patience today. Reach and reach. Good, now let's make the arm a little bigger. I want you to circle it out and over. She's stolen my washcloth yet again. And reach, and reach, and reach, thank you. Good, this is what happens, you just keep going. Good, keep breathing. Nice, four more, three, two, and one, beautiful. Take it back, back, good. So I'm sliding back onto the ball of my foot. Now I just have one done. And back. And so we move on without Peanut. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a disaster, and it was, so we move on. So we're taking the legs to the back. You've got that nice slide happening here. Good. Now we're gonna make this a little more intensive for the lower body muscles and continue to work that core. I'm just gonna turn to the side. We slow it down, come down for two, slide up. So my heel is lifted. I want you to think of hinging forward at your hips. The front leg does all the work for us here. You're gonna bend that knee over your ankle. Abs are tight, shoulders are pressing down the back. Inhale down. Exhale, let's add the upper body. The arms come up by the ears. Now as you rise, turn towards that front hip. Inhale down. Exhale, slight little twist. Take it down nice and long. Push up, good. So you're gonna really feel this in that standing leg from your heel all the way up underneath your glutes. Two more, slow. One more time, then we're gonna speed up the tempo. Down. Good, give me one count down, one count up. It's down and lift, down and lift. Just go as low as you can, push, good. Arms by the ears, chin to chest, and twist. Keep on breathing, press up. We got eight more, it's eight. Squeeze, seven, squeeze, good, six, Shoulders to hips, four more, three, beautiful, last two, and one, hold it, keep the feet hip width apart, knees are soft, abs tight, take it front, take it back, drop your chest, open up, just breathe, and we're gonna let the body drop, bend the knees, 
open the chest. So this is a little recovery time. Just enjoy it, just breathe. And that fold forward can be a little contraction of those abs, and then a little stretch. Down, scoop, and breathe, and scoop. Four more right here, four, and lift, three. Good, give me two more. And we're gonna start with the left leg, hands to hips, sliding back behind you, back and back. So we're getting ready to set up those nice long lunges on the other side. Good, take it back. That's it, I'm just gonna turn to the side here. You can stay facing me. Four more here, good. Nice and slow, hands stay at the hips. Down and press up. So back leg is totally straight. Hinge forward at your hips. Press down into that back foot to keep your tool underneath the foot. Squeeze, abs in, shoulders are pressing down our back. Can we try it with those arms? Inhale, exhale, rotate to the hips. So notice my hips are staying square in front. The rotation happens in the upper torso. Inhale, exhale, turn through the ribcage. Yeah, more abs there. Two more, slow. Press up, keep that back leg real straight and strong. Get ready, a little faster tempo. Here we go, down, up, down, up, that's it. Get deep into that front leg, working from heel to hip. And press, good. You got it, guys. I want you to feel this one tomorrow when you sit down and stand up. Take it down, squeeze, almost. Last eight. Four more. Last two. One more. Beautiful, feet hip width apart, drop, recover. And breathe. How you feeling? Are you good? Yeah, good. So we're keeping the heart rate up, working that core. Squeeze the abs, contract and round. Inhale, expand. Big arms. Nice, four, good, three, nice, give me two more. I'm just gonna fix my towel here. Last one, give me a slide, but travel a little bit to the front. Now take it back, so it's side and side. Good, to the front, forward, good, and take it back, arms, just start to sweep. So it's a little traveling skater. Good. Taking it back. Beautiful. One more time to the front. Take it to the back. Good. Nice. Now let's hold it here. We're gonna take the knees and toes back out to that nice grand plie pulse. Hold it right here. Keep squeezing. Good, slide your right heel into your left. So it comes down, zip, switch, zip up. Use your inner thighs, squeeze it, good. Let's take the arms, down and twist, down and twist. So we're turning through that upper body again, working that core, knees over the toes. You can use the inner thighs to slide that heel together. Good. A little bit bigger. Zip. Nice. Six more here. Four more. Last two. You got it, one more please. Now hold that pulse, take it back out. Just the right foot is going to slide in, slide out. Our abs are tight, looks like this. Turn the shoulders, turn the shoulders. Stay low in the thighs. 
arms. Remember that little sweep you did front to back? Do it here too. Stay low and low. Turn the ribs, slide it in, slide it out. So you go from first position to second position while maintaining that plie. Use the inner thighs. Good, so the knees shouldn't take any of the pressure here. It should go all into the thigh muscles. Inner and outer thighs and the quadriceps. Let it flow. Four, good, three, good, last two. One more, plie pulse center, hold it. So you may be wondering, why is my heart rate going up so much with just a little plie? These are big muscles in the legs, right? So the more muscle you work, the harder you have to work, the more your heart has to work to pump the blood. So we're getting a nice cardio effect from just this simple plie series. No jumping needed, isn't that nice? Hands on the hips, get ready. We slide the left heel in and out. Turn the shoulders. Good. And I go, oh, you're, I know you're saying, yeah, that's nice and everything, but my thighs are burning. <laughs> Try to work through that pain. Of course, you can always take a breather if you need it. Add the sweep when possible. So another option if your thighs are really screaming at you would be to do this with the legs straight. So you can also do that, okay? I don't want you to suffer, but if you can hang on through just a little bit of discomfort, stay with me as long as you can. It's worth it, right? Inhale and exhale. Turning the shoulders. Now, if you get dizzy turning your head, you can just turn the shoulders and keep your focus front too. So the focus is optional. We're almost done. We have four more here. It's four and back. Three, nice last two. One more, plie pulse last time. Here we go. Hold it, good. Arms out. So we're gonna do that little airplane bend from the waistline. We go side and center, side and center. Push down through your shoulders and squeeze, good. Now, extend the legs, come center. Down, pull up down, pull up, you got it, down and up, use the side of the waist, and maybe you want to reach a little lower, you can go to the inside of the calf, inside of that ankle, you tell me, as low as you can, press down, shoulders to hips, deep breaths, last five, Four, three, two more. Last one right here. Great job, guys. Turn your knees and toes front. Hands at the hips. Lift the chest. Take a deep breath. Good. Round your shoulders forward. Just tuck your tailbone. Curve the spine. Inhale, expand again. Open, lift the heart. Exhale, round forward. Tuck the tailbone, stretch your back. Extend the legs, bend, just your right knee, sit back in your hips. So we're gonna stretch through the inner thighs here. Now I want you to just turn, lift the back heel, press your pelvis forward, lift your chest, get a nice stretch through that hip flexor. If you want, you can bring your arms up, your ears. Beautiful. Stand it back up, turn it around. Let's take it to the other side, sit back in the hips. Inner thigh stretch, just breathe. Turn it to the side, hips forward, arms, hands on the thighs or up. And release it, bring it up and in. Good, so you can get rid of those sliding discs. Hold on to something if you need help with your balance. We're gonna curl the right heel into the hip, reach that other arm all the way up. Here's a little tip, if you're losing your balance, grab the outside of your ear. I don't know why that helps, but it does. <laughs> So press your knees together, push your hips forward, breathe. Again, still balancing, cross that back leg over top of that front thigh, sit back into your hips. If you can, hold on to something or somebody for balance if you need to. Good, release it. Let's go to the other side. Grab the heel, pull it in, knees together, hips press, breathe. Good, lengthen the front of that thigh. Cross it over, sit back. So you want to sit back just like in a squat position. Hold it. 
and let's release it. Hands come to the tops of the thighs. Support your spine. Let's roll up. Abs are tight. And I want you to roll up, stacking each vertebrae on top of each other, standing two inches taller at the top. Deep breath in, shoulders up to your ears. One more time. Nice deep breath, arms all the way up. Inhaling oxygen and energy into the body. Exhaling any stress or tension. One more time, deep breath. Exhale, let it go. I wanna thank you so much for joining me and Peanut for some of this workout today. And I wanna say a very special thank you to Power Music for providing us with this beautiful soundtrack today. Please visit their website, workoutmusic.com, for tons of great workout mixes and music. Thanks for joining me, guys, and I'll see you next time.